okay now that i feel like a good number of people have seen a tribe called judah at the cinemas i feel like it's high time we talk about it so please let me know in the comment section if you've seen the movie favorite character i'm going to be telling you who my favorite character was as well in the film and you know your favorite moment like your favorite scene in the movie let's keep it interesting because i know a lot of people have seen the movie a tribe called judah so this review is not like i'm here to come and tell you about the film i feel i know i feel like everybody has seen it so yeah in case you're a returning subscriber welcome 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 back i love that you keep coming back here to see what i'm up to on this space and in case you're just in my channel just sharing my voice welcome welcome i am ronke suyi i really do hope you stay please like this video if you enjoy and consider subscribing to the channel and leave a comment in the comment section have you seen the movie are you yet to see it what were your favorite scenes who was your favorite character you know just drop those in the comment section and i'll make sure to respond to every single comment so yes let us talk about a tribe called judah we're going to be talking about the my expectations going into the film the characters and their performances what i liked what i didn't like my final verdict we're also going to be rating the movie as well so yeah it's 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 going to be a packed video i'll try to make it very brief so so talking about my expectations i didn't really know what to expect going into the film i mean there were a lot of gist here and there about the movies so i was told that the movie was mad the movie was good it was in fact it was top tier and all that so i really had high expectations even though i had refused to see the trailer everywhere on social media like it was very difficult if you're an og on this channel you know that right here we, are, we don't watch trailers before watching the movie <laughs> so i tried my possible best to avoid watching the trailer even though it was very difficult but i knew as funky akidele was playing the lead character and she had five sons so now on to the characters and their performances first we had jedida juda who is actually the mother of this young five boys Kaka was portrayed to us as a very hard-working woman someone who had gone through different phases of her life and she's been able to you know supposedly turn the lemons that she has come across into lemonade she's been able to do so well for herself not great but like she's been able to successfully raise five kids five boys on her own and i love how we were subtly introduced to the kind of business that she runs the tricycle business the business of loaning money out to people for people to start their own business and be able to pay her back so i liked how they did that i liked how our character was presented to us as a very strong woman and i feel like with jedida's character a lot of most especially single moms who have had to raise their kids alone without any family member being in the picture would definitely see themselves in her jedita's character was so realistic that i could picture someone like her in the society someone who somehow has five kids from different tribes from five different men and you know some of the kids are cool headed some are strong headed some are troublemakers and you know it just feels like that woman that when you hear that there's trouble in this community you know that a child was involved or a child probably spearheaded the whole thing so yeah her character was so relative and, and i loved how she carried her character well you know even with the opening scene with her you know anointing her children's picture so typical of a nigerian mom the way she tied her wrapper her dances here and there you know even the way she drank a sachet gin everything came together um, you know gave us this perfect mix i just liked how everything came together and made a character really really believable also we had a maker judah character played by jide kene atrophosi jide kene atrophosi is one actor that i feel like he is great at what he does um with taxi driver seen a good number of movies and i know that he has this charisma there's a way he carries his character there's a way he interprets his character and he didn't fail to do that in this film in fact i feel like one character that i will forever remember in this film would be jide kenne's character that's emeka emeka was able to you know even though he didn't look very much older than his brothers because he played the character of the oldest son you know the way he interpreted his character the way he carried himself the way he spoke to his brothers his acting very realistic he made it very believable that okay this guy might not look like he's older than all his brothers but he seemed to have them in check he seemed to be the closest to his mom he seemed to be someone that is cool-headed that 
has a plan, has a bright future. I mean, I was talking to someone who was watching this movie that, you know, this Emeka gives me the vibe of someone that has his life all figured out. He has a plan for himself. And I wasn't surprised when he talked about scholarship, when he talked about traveling out, even when the need for them to come up with money to take care of their mother came up. The fact that I was able to step up and, you know, get to the task, I wasn't surprised because his character already gave me that vibe. And that just, that just boils down to good writing and good interpretation of character so jire kene i should see as a mecca did a fantastic job it wasn't too funny it wasn't too slow it wasn't too fast it was just the perfect fit to have played that character emeka we also had uzi umar's character adamu one thing that i have to say now that i liked about this film is the perfect casting because i'm thinking who else would have played usman's character the character of adamu i mean it's, it's just a very easy sell i bought it not on a discount i bought it and i paid in full i didn't negotiate like it was so easy to believe i you know houses are known to be you know people that you can trust so Outsiders are known to be people that when they give you the award, they stand by it. I don't know of outsiders you've met, but from from my own experiences, I mean, good people, good outsiders. <laughs> it's like me saying one thing and then come back to another thing. But like with the good outsiders that I've met, I could see Adamus' character in them. And we saw when he gave, you know, the, his fellow security man his word that when we do this thing, you're going to have a commission out of it. And I'm giving you my word and all of those. And we saw how he came through with his promise. Adamus' character was cool headed, was very calm, well played. I feel like he did a fantastic job pr playing adamu and his character was just like a breath of fresh air in this film i don't know what better way to explain it but i mean i i really hope somebody listening right now feels what i'm feeling but yeah we also had timini Egbosa's character he played the character of pere oh timini Egbosa's character is so like him but not really like him like the toggery the troublesome attitude the stubbornness so like him but um you know being a sport brat in a way being a mommy's boy in a way was so like him and on the flip side picking pocket fighting you know all of those things was so not like the, so not like the characters we've seen him play i mean we have seen him play the character of a bad boy but he just plays this one so well and i really appreciated his character there was a scene where um you know there was a scene where the mother was touching each son's head and when it was a story the way he tilted forward for his mom to touch his head it was so it was so real like i could just imagine a room of siblings where one person is like our mom is touching everybody's head she must touch my head so that kind of thing so i really liked how he you know he played this character also had the character of shino judah played by toby mackinde see in fact i feel like toby mackinde deserves a round of applause he deserves an accolade for playing this character Shina and pulling it well. Like, I'm like, how did this man go from playing Tinini in Jennifer's diary? Tinini, that if Jennifer should put water in his mouth and say she's traveling for 20 years, she will come back and make the water. Like, how did he go from playing that cool, calm, kind of silly? Although, even if he's not so smart, I mean, I do it sometimes in this character, in you know, the character I played in Jennifer's Diary, where he made some not so smart decision. But at some point, we saw him, you know, step up his game, become a better person, and you know, bringing smart business ideas forward and working hand in hand with Jennifer. So I was like, how did he go from someone that is so cool, so calm, so easygoing to Shinene? <laughs> oh my goodness. I was like, no the, the 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 turn around was so 360 like it was a complete makeover complete turn around of a character i'm just like in fact i know i appreciated the maker's character i appreciated adam's character but right now i really 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 want to appreciate shenanigan's character he was the funniest is he my man or the prayers he prayed or is he the time where bro, um, police came to arrest him for vandalizing a truck and they were taking him and he was pulling his mother's clothes and pulling a wrapper as well and the makeup was like no no naked mommy <laughs> my god like i have so many good memories of 
the scenes where she know was very hilarious i have so many memories of them and i feel like that just makes the film much more interesting for me and when it gets on the streaming platform i'll definitely go ahead to watch that film again because of those scenes like they were epic um, i mean shinene was just i mean even the scene where you know he they they, they, he want, they wanted to um attack those that were building the way those that were building and when they saw that those people had men that were armed on ground and they were like oh we can't do this let's go back shinene was like jeka terisi jeka terisi na me no where should they pinch me <laughs> go on that scene i'm like you want to face armed men with cutlass and wood you have got to be joking so i really like shinene's character it was hilarious and it wasn't too much it was hilarious it was so realistic it was so funny and it seemed very easy for him i really liked it also had a Jiro played by olumide Oro, and then again perfect casting perfect casting a Jiro was able to play this character of a young last born you know who is just still trying to gather his dreams together who is stupidly in love with somebody that's probably his age as well and you know just being the last born of the house but also wants to be involved in decision making process in the house wants to get involved loves his mom so much and can go to war for her also a mommy's boy the boy that you know if his mom is going out his own that will follow the mommy house that kind of thing and i feel like only they will play this character the characters well even in the posters if you take a good look at how they stood for their photographs in all their different posters for the pr of this film all of them you could see their character in each person in each actor so we also had testimony played by genoveva ome <laughs> in fact I, ca I i don't even know what and what i don't even know how they came about the cast members of this film like <laughs> genoveva ome playing testimony oh god and i liked how genoveva ome has evolved over the years you know she kicked off her career with blood sisters she, she gave us an outstanding performance in that film her character was so strong and so punchy and then we also saw her in breath of life recently we saw her in far from home a character you know had very good spotlight in that film as well memorable scenes from her and she's been really consistent with the kind of character she's been playing and how she's been delivering her roles her characters how she's been interpreting her characters and i have so much faith in jennifer omey that if she continues like this i mean she's shooting for the stars already because she was phenomenal in this film playing test <laughs> going from testimony that will follow her boyfriend to go and be begging on the street as an imbecile to you know crying with her boyfriend's family because they are facing a dilemma and you know to not thinking twice about leaving a city to run away with a boyfriend's family it's just crazy and who else noticed that whenever they said testimony you need to step out of this situation a Jiro don't involve testimony she's the one that ends up helping them i mean genoveva gave us an outstanding she gave us an outstanding performance in this film we also had insequim at team as correct <laughs> according to c and k furniture manager and i think she did a good job playing that character of the manager you know the scene she had with a maker it was it was kind of different from the characters we see us play you know and i think she did a good job playing her character i believed her she was enjoyable on my screen the character was was able to draw out the emotions that they needed the viewers to feel towards her and you know it was interesting to watch her play the character of collect um we also had uzo arukue who played the character of sia and k was owner i can't even remember the name of his character but yeah it was the typical funny man who else has noticed that uzo arukue playing a very rich man a very rich businessman they are always stealing his money sugar rush they stole his money he was the one chasing the sugar sisters for the bag of money alongside you know banky w he was one chasing them for money now in this film again is one where is my money where is, my, is the one looking for money up and down i just noticed that pattern in like the characters that he plays so i think he did a good job playing it's something we've seen him play before it was very funny in this scene he was able to maintain his accent all through the film i don't think he slacked or flopped anywhere one of the things i liked about this film i love the story funny enough this story is not something very fresh very new i mean we've seen stories of mother that have kids kids are causing trouble and all of those things and this is not the first movie we are seeing with money heist and all that or you know epic robbery and things like that but 
you know i think the uniqueness of the cast members the uniqueness of how the story was introduced with different characters and different plot and twist the suspense the you know the humor with sad emotions happy emotions i feel like that gave the movie a very good mix and it made it look very unique and different because it was almost like wait a minute like there's nothing so new about the story but it still felt very fresh and very new so i really liked the story and how it was carefully told to us i also liked the soundtrack the soundtrack added so much vibe to different scene right soundtrack for different when we needed to be happy when we needed to be sad when we needed to be scared when we needed to be at the edge of our seats when it was supposed to be calm and just easy when it was supposed to be intense we got a lot of those emotions in this film and i think it's all thanks to good acting as well as good soundtrack so love the synergy of the cast members i love how the brothers bonded together they felt so distant at some point and they felt so united at some point even with their mom their grandma you know and the other relationship they had with other people around also i love the cinematography the shots that we got from different angles. are you doing when the robbery was going on the different angle shots that we got um i felt like cinematography was good also i love the excellent blend of humor and emotion and suspense and drama i feel like it was a perfect blend and like i said that made the story really really that made the story feel very different and look very different also i love that this movie talked about social and um economical issues we saw the um, economical constraints of the judah family as well as the societal illness in the society corruption greed deception betrayal you know trust and all that all of those societal issues and societal illness we saw all of those in this film and the way I, and the movie taught great lessons lastly but most importantly i liked that there were a lot of memorable scenes from this film like i already said when i was talking about shine Nemus especially there were a lot of scenes that when i remember a tribe called you that it just pops up in my head i don't need to think too much there are a lot of scenes that you know will draw up conversations that you can talk about that you can laugh over you can gist over from the film even when you're walking out of the cinema there are scenes you can refer to and you know explain to somebody and it still makes you feel as good as you felt when you were watching it so i like that we got a lot of memorable scenes from this film lastly i said this film was not so predictable like there were a lot of things that happened there that i didn't see coming and some of them really took me by surprise so i like that the story even though it looked very easy not so fresh it was still not so predictable now on to the things i didn't like about this film <laughs> but let me know let me do something different let me know what you didn't like about the film in the comments feel free let's talk about it. i don't think i would if i am to sit down and I think of what i didn't like i don't think i can come up with anything soon so let me just leave it to you guys the ball is in your court let me know what you didn't like about the film i mean the film was great and all that but if you feel like there were, there were one or two things you feel they could have done better or you feel like kind of took away from the story or from the experience let me know in the comment section and let's see maybe i would agree with you it might just help refresh my own memory now on to my verdict. i think a tribe called you that is a great film right now it has made over 1.2 billion ticket sales at the cinemas worldwide that is a huge huge success and that's just a testament to how great the film was how the marketing was so great and it was successful and you know they're getting what's for their money and their efforts and everything so now on to my ratings i've written the film of four points uh, seven over five i've written the film a tribe called judah a 4.7 over 5. Oh, if you'll be rating the film a tribe called judah what would be your rating let me know in the comment section please don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel i also have my review of malaika and it and adal modadi up on the channel please feel free to check those out and yeah i will see you in my next review until then make sure to remain happy because you owe it to yourself bye guys